Hello, and welcome to this online information event. My name is Dr. Lucas Gliptis, and I'm the head of the School of Business and Management. Today, I shall offer you an overview of the school. Before doing so, however, please let me refer to some facts of concern to Ukraine Cyprus in the post-Brexit era. One would wonder, why study at Ukraine Cyprus? Well, an overview of Ukraine Cyprus would demonstrate that we are a British university campus offering higher education in Cyprus, but also in the wider Middle Eastern and Northern African region. We offer double awarded degrees, that is two certificates, one from the UK and one from Cyprus. Euclid Cyprus benefits from the over 190 years educational experience and heritage that Euclid UK carries with it. It benefits from the high rankings that Euclid enjoys. Euclid was ranked in 2021 among the top 6.5% of world universities, according to the world, uh, to the Center for World University Rankings. It enjoys highly rated student experience for teaching and professional support and enhances employability and opens up professional routes for a strong network of stakeholders, partners and associates to who I will refer to in uh, the slides to follow. Further, during the turbulent COVID times, Euclid Cyprus has demonstrated remarkable agility in teaching and learning delivery modes by applying both hybrid and remote uh, approaches to teaching and learning. So what's our post-Brexit relevance and added value as a British university campus in Cyprus? Well, we are an established European campus of a UK university. In fact, we are one of the very few British university campuses operating in the European Union. We offer the students who will decide to study with us massively lower total costs of studying, that is both tuition fees and living expenses, compared to those that any student would experience should they decide to study in the United Kingdom. I would say that the total cost savings could amount to up to 50% of uh, the costs a student would face in the UK. Our graduates are not required to undergo such recognition of studies compared to their peers graduating with a UK degree only. Euclid Cyprus operating in a European Union country, participates in Erasmus Plus scheme, which allows both students and staff mobility for study and training to from any country under Erasmus Charter and under specific third countries. The double award degrees offering allows our students to seek professional accreditation in the UK degree and in Cyprus and the rest of the EU through the Cyprus degree. So welcome to the School of Business and Management the most enterprising school of Euclid Cyprus. Our mission is to offer practical and professionally oriented courses, which equip our students with knowledge, experience and analytical skills that are in high demand in the marketplace. Our key measure of success is for our graduates to enjoy employability in managerial, professional and entrepreneurial pathways, contributing to social and economic development locally, regionally and internationally. Our key target at the School of Business and Management is to offer market-oriented, market-relevant and double-awarded programs. We offer, therefore, a portfolio of undergraduate and postgraduate programs which equip students with cutting-edge knowledge and skills in the fields of study. All programs are accredited by both the UK and the Cyprus Quality Assurance Agency, hence enabling the double-awarded offering. Our undergrad degrees portfolio comprises a BA honours in accounting and finance, followed by a BA honours in advertising and marketing communications, a BA honours in business administration, a BA honours in English language studies, and finally, a BA honours in hospitality and tourism management. Our undergrad degree portfolio is supplemented by our postgraduate degrees portfolio, which comprises a master's in business administration, which is also available in a distance learning mode a Master's in Hospitality in Tourism and Event Management, and finally, a Master's in Education Leadership. Who are, who are we? We are a team of 44 academics and academic practitioners, all committed to teaching and learning excellence and to innovation and research. Our academics have studies from among the best European and American universities, and they produce research whose outcomes are of interest to both the industry and academia. 
we possess disciplinary expertise, which is quite diverse, ranging from such areas as accounting, advertising, corporate law and tax, economics and statistics, education leadership, English language and literature, entrepreneurship and innovation, finance, family business management, hospitality and tourism management, human resource management, operations management, marketing, and sports business management. How do we understand teaching and learning at the School of Business and Management? Well, we apply a triadic pedagogic approach, where, which rests on three pillars. Industry-informed teaching, research-informed teaching, with both of them enabled through the deployment of state-of-the-art technologies and teaching and learning methodologies. This comprises the extensive utilization of our Blackboard platform, the use of presentations, debates and, pres and simulations. Industry-informed teaching is of particular importance at the School of Business and Management. And among others, it comprises giving access to our students to impactful real-world case studies, to the insights that insightful and inspired business leaders can offer via live testimonials, and through encouraging them to participate in local and regional competitions. Research-informed teaching at the same time is also of paramount importance. And this is because it gives the opportunity to our students to get access to summarized findings of state-of-the-art research which concern to their chosen field of study. It also allows us to enhance our students' analytical and research skills through directing them to particular to the participation of particular research projects via internships and also through their participation in research seminars that we run at the School of Business and Management. What do our students think about us? Well, according to our latest student survey, 3.3 out of 4 students are satisfied or very satisfied with our school and with the teaching and learning practices that we deploy there too. Should you wish, please have a look at student testimonials which feature in our website. How do we engage with industry? Well, as I shall show in the slides that follow, we work with a number of partners and associates to enable for a superb student experience and engagement. We have a, a number of partners and associates, and in these slides I can only refer to uh, some of the most important to us. And all of them support us to offer a superb um, uh, extracurricular offering to our students in all disciplinary areas for which we offer degrees. So herewith you can see some of our key partners and associates in accounting and finance, ranging from uh, our three accrediting bodies, ACCA, ICAW and SEMA, as well as from some of the uh, big four companies, uh, the local Cyprus uh, Institute of Certified Public Accountants, as well as key providers of uh, accounting and control uh, software, uh, who are also world leaders in their fields. In hospitality and tourism management, we also enjoy memorandums, memorandums of understanding with um, um, key associations in the field, as well as with uh, hotel chains with presence both uh, locally and overseas. This is of particular importance to our students in the field who seek to get internships uh, and other practical experience, as well as the potential of um, um, a permanent uh, position after they graduate. And this applies uh, to uh, our students across degrees, I have to say. In business management and leadership, we work with CEDAR, the Center for Entrepreneurial Development Alliance and Research, to um, enable participation in competitions such as the business idea competition of our students, which enhances their entrepreneurial and uh, business idea mindset. CEDAR also facilitates our students' participation in research internships. Also, in collaboration with the International United Commercial Agents and Brokers Association, we offer professional certifications in legal issues as well as in marketing and trade. And as such, we offer an EU CAP training approved program. 
Also, we offer a professional certification in business ethics, which is enabled through uh, the collaboration with the United Nations Global Compact and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. We are particularly grateful to all our partners and associates for giving access to our students to live testimonials, to competitions, to internships, and uh, also the availability of joint thesis, dissertation supervision with these partners is of paramount importance to enhance the experience of our students. In English language studies, apart from working with the Youth Board of Cyprus to improve the linguistics and literature, uh, skills of our students. We also work with the European Commission and the European Parliament in, in Information Office in Cyprus um, to provide for the EPSO event. And here I offer some pictures of how we engage with all those partners and associates I have referred to in the previous slides to enable our students participate in competitions, in live testimonials, in field trips and guest lectures, um, to benefit from the enhanced knowledge through the participation of such partners in the entrepreneurship Cup and the innovation toolkit that we run at the school, as well as from the provision of professional development activities, uh, also through the Human Resources Development Authority of Cyprus. It's important to know that our students' employability is very attractive. 98% of our graduates got a job according to our graduate survey or pursue further studies. 74% of them got a job directly related to their field of study, while 71% of them got a job within three months following graduation. Also, our students benefit from the Erasmus Plus mobility uh, through both incoming students, that is students who we welcome to the university and we had 58 of them over the past six years and we had another 18 who wish to study overseas. In this slide you can also see some pictures of uh, competitions we run at the school that is the next gen accountant competition and running the economy for a day competition. This is just a sample of competitions of course as well as the chartered financial analyst research challenge competition which is both a local and international competition. Some further engagement uh, opportunities for our students, which comprise the Business Idea Fest competition, which this year ran online due to uh, the effects of the pandemic. The Entrepreneurship Camp, which, I, which runs annually and in conjunction with CEDA and our MBA program. Ideodromio, which runs in conjunction with uh, the Ministry of Education. The Innovo Business Society, which enhances our students' business and entrepreneurial mindsets. It's a student populated and run, it, it, it's a society, excuse me, populated and run by students, as well as a number of other um, continued professional development and uh, other symposiums and forums, such as our sport management symposium. Thank you very much for uh, your attention. Should you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Isabella Carasamani, and I am leading the Bachelor in Arts with Honours in Accounting and Finance at the University of Central Lancashire in Cyprus. In this webinar, I will give you a brief overview of the program and the key advantages of the course. BA in Accounting and Finance is one of the fastest growing courses in the university, providing a holistic education in accounting and finance. The program enjoys triple accreditations from the Cyprus Quality Assurance and Accreditation, from the UK Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education, and from various accounting professional bodies like the ACCA, the ICAEW, and CIMA. An important key advantage of the program, which enhances the employability of our students, is that we give them the opportunity each year of their studies to learn integrated accounting softwares, which provide our students with important skills that are highly needed in the marketplace. In year one, 
We offer them a training on Eurosoft. In year two, we offer them a training on PowerSoft. In year three, on SAP HANA. And in year four, on Caseware International. Our graduates have a proven record of succeeding in a range of employment sectors from accounting, finance, and business. Career opportunities arise from the strong networks the department has with the industry, from career days organized by the university, and also from modules whereby students are professionally developed and are given the opportunity to present themselves in front of professional panels, which come back with conditional employment offers to selected students. It is important to note that in 2016, the University of Central Lancashire, Cyprus, was the first university in Europe to have a unique agreement with ACCA, which entitles students to take the examinations of the four remaining ACCA professional papers, the P papers as we call them, during the course of their undergraduate studies. Through this unique agreement with ACCA, UCLAN massively shortens for its students the total time required to obtain both their academic degree and their ACCA professional qualification. We have a blended approach as far as the academics employed are concerned. Our full-time academics are all holders of a PhD, and to date, they have exhibited a very good record with regards to their research outcomes. However, we deem equally important, specifically for this program, the employment of ACCA or ACA qualified practitioners, given the strong alignment the program has with professional bodies. As academics, we try to be active members of the society and offer our knowledge to society members with the goal to support economic and social aspects of the island. Our academics participate in academic conferences and they offer their knowledge to the academic community. They organize roundtables, forums, workshops and symposiums. Some examples of these may be the Roundtable of Experts on the Cyprus Banking Reform, the Roundtable of Experts on the Cyprus Economy Retrospects and Prospects, the workshops on the importance of shipping in the global and Cyprus economy. We encourage our students to be active in taking participations in several contests relevant to their fields. We also contribute to online forums, which, are, which may be academic or professional, we hold various board memberships. Um, the first and most important memberships we hold are at the professional body um, uh, associations. We're also members of the board of the Cyprus Stock Exchange, members of the Institute of Certified Public Accountants of Cyprus, members of the Cyprus Insolvency Committee and the Cyprus International Businesses Association. We offer training courses. Uh, to alumni, businesses, and non-experts. We, uh, we also take part in continuing professional development activities, which are directed towards professionals and alumni. A very important initiative that we aim to establish very soon is a student-run clinic to help local people seeking advice on tax concerns on the run-up and beyond the tax return. This clinic, we have student volunteers who will set up and answer a dedicated tax aid telephone helpline that will support people, primarily of low income status, who seek advice on tax issues. These were the highlights of the BA Honours Accounting and Finance of the University of Central Lancashire in Cyprus. I would like to thank you for attending this webinar and to wish you a joyful summer. Right. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is uh, a presentation about the business administration degree at UCLAN Cyprus. My name is uh, Fanos Tegelas, and I am the course leader of the business administration. So today 
Uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the degree, uh, what it includes, incorporates, and how it's going to help students uh, to their future career. So, um, as a beginning, this is a four years uh, study for a degree. So, you will need to complete successfully uh, 240 ECTS, so four years of study in order to complete the module, uh, the degree. So what's in it for you? So first of all, uh, to enhance your academic knowledge about generally about business and management. Uh, so you get a pretty good idea of the different aspects of business. Um, you learn how to apply theory which is very important because when you go out to work uh, in the industry, in every industry, you will need uh, the theories and uh, you will need to have the knowledge to apply these theories uh, in real life. You will have the opportunity to engage in discussions, uh, exchange opinions uh, with uh, other students and academics as well. Um, one of the most important things that uh, you will have the opportunity to do is that um, you will be able to visit other European institutions, academic institutions, through the Erasmus Plus uh, scheme uh, and complete a certain number of modules in these institutions. We had uh, students who have visited academic institutions uh, in Netherlands, in Belgium, in Germany, in France, in Greece, and so on. So you will have uh, this opportunity and actually it's a great experience for all students. Um, this is something that I have mentioned before. The business administration degree incorporates everything. So it includes um, HR modules, it includes finance, accounting, uh, entrepreneurship, marketing, advertising, and so on. So you get the basis, you get the foundation of all the aspects uh, of business because everything uh, will be used um, during either your internship or when you uh, successfully have a job uh, in an industry. To take the opportunity to practice what you have learned um, and the overall goal is for you to succeed a job position, to gain and obtain a, a job position that it will offer you stability, um, financial stability, but also career stability. And in order to do that, in order to uh, have this privilege, um, the business administration degree will help you to succeed. Um, another important aspect of, uh, of what we have at Euclid Cyprus in general, and particularly uh, in terms of the business administration degree, uh, is the small number of students. We don't tend uh, to have more than 15 or 17 uh, students in each class, and this is for us to be able to offer you feedback, uh, personal guidance, um, so it will be unfortunate to have a huge amphitheater of 100, uh, 200 perhaps students that uh, we wouldn't have the avail availability of offering this uh, guidance to our students. So again, I emphasize the fact that the number of students in each class is uh, kept to the minimum. Uh, finally, links with the uh, with huge companies in the industry, <clears throat> and you will have the opportunity to uh, work or complete, if you wish, uh, your internship to these uh, large organizations. Which usually what happens is that our students complete a six months or three months internship, 
uh, to these large organizations, and usually the organizations offer them a full-time position thereafter. Okay, so it's a very good experience uh, for the students to engage in internship. Now, the program is separated into four years, and you will need to complete all the modules uh, across the four years. Uh, the first two years, we have four compulsory modules, and then you have a list of electives or optional modules, if you wish, uh, where you will need to select two. Uh, for example, in the first year, uh, if you think that English language is not uh, sufficient for you or you need further help and guidance uh, in the use of the English language, you do have the opportunity to select modules in order to enhance and improve uh, your English. Um, the last two years of the of the program have uh, three compulsory modules and you will need to select uh, additional three modules. So as you can see from the module titles, we have a variety of uh, topics to be covered. And this is, of course, uh, depends on your um, on the area that you are interested. Uh, for example, you might be more interested in marketing, so you select marketing modules. Um, perhaps you are interested in finance or HR, human resource. So again, it is going to be your choice to select the area that you want to enhance and improve your knowledge. Now, it's not all about theory. We don't learn theory um, from the books and that's it. Uh, what we do is that we learn about theory, either in relation to marketing, HR, or generally about business and so on. And then you take, um, uh, you participate in competitions in order to show your understanding and apply the theory that uh, you learn. And then we visit a lot of companies where CEOs and uh, founders uh, offer their insights, their experiences in order for you to get a more holistic idea of the business related elements and aspects. Employability, which is the most important thing, we have a UCLAN Cyprus career fair where we invite all the key players from the industry uh, to hire our students. This takes place every year and we do offer a number of internships in these um, in these uh, huge companies uh, in order for every single student to understand how an organization works. Now perhaps this is the most important thing for all students because most of the students ask um, what kind of job I will get when I get my degree. So if you get the, if you study and complete the business administration degree, you will have several opportunities to get a job in different industries. Either it relates to marketing and advertising agencies, for example, either to establish your own business with our support, of course, um, to be an HR manager somewhere in a huge organization or be an employee or senior manager in a trade company. Currently, we have a lot of Forex companies um, in, in Cyprus that they thrive. Uh, financial institutions, you will have the opportunity to be employed in a bank uh, in Cyprus. And finally, in the hospitality and tourist industry, which we all know is the backbone of the economy of Cyprus. So you will have the opportunity to select the industry that you want to work in, okay? Or develop your own business with our support. So thank you very much uh, for your time. These are my contact details. So in case you wish to talk to me, I am providing my phone number, uh, the link to my profile, so you will get a pretty good idea of who I am.
And finally, uh, my email address, so you can contact me anytime you wish. Thank you very much uh, for your time, and please do contact me should you need any further information. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Katerina Andoniu and I'm the course leader for the Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Hospitality and Tourist Management here at UCLan Cyprus. Uh, studying this course means that you will be engaging with the world's most resilient uh, industry uh, and a key industry in Cyprus as well. The course provides uh, young students and young professionals uh, with specialization in three different areas, in tourism, hospitality, and management. But what's in it for you? We have, uh, we're offering uh, one of the top three uh, courses uh, of uh, hospitality uh, in the UK according to this year's rankings. Uh, we have a variety of modules that follow uh, different uh, learning approaches and uh, a variety of uh, assessments, include different case studies and allow students to engage both with research but also with practice. We also have additional activities uh, that enhance student experience, including field trips, networking with industry professionals, both from Cyprus and abroad, internship opportunities, career events, but also uh, opportunities for conducting uh, state-of-the-art research. You can therefore engage with this course and uh, develop both uh, industry-specific skills but also transferable career skills, including public speaking, uh, presenting, writing, and uh, adjusting professionally in whatever career path you choose. Uh, students have the opportunity to engage in different career paths, including uh, from examples of our recent graduates, um, careers in the aviation industry, uh, additional um, study and specialization through postgraduate courses uh, following the academic route, uh, and uh, also the entrepreneurship and startup route where uh, our young graduates chose to start their own tourism-related business. Uh, you also have the opportunity to engage with the hospitality sector, with tourism policy making, but also to engage uh, beyond the private sector with the public sector, as well as non-governmental organizations and civil society, if your true calling is to have a social impact um, on sustainable travel and other um, practices of positive social change. These are examples of some of our modules where you have uh, options, uh, but also uh, compulsory um, uh, topics that uh, you will be covering with uh, your module tutors. And uh, we're uh, always here to support you, uh, both myself as the course leader, but also your module leaders, uh, the rest of the uh, academic and professional staff, but also the student support office, an office specifically uh, dedicated to ensuring that you have a positive student experience and that your well-being uh, personally and academically is taken care of. We also have a variety of resources that are available to you both physically on campus, uh, technologically, uh, but also through electronic resources that bring you direct access to a wide variety of uh, sources and resources that you need in order to excel in your studies. So we're looking forward to welcoming you uh, to our course. And for any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you and best of luck.
Hello, I'm Dr. Andrika Nikli, and I'll be giving you a brief overview of the English Language Studies program. Our English Language Studies degree offers linguistic and literary perspectives on the study of language. You will be working with a range of materials, including classic literary texts, as well as popular media texts, such as advertisements. You will cover a range of topics on how language works both structurally and persuasively, and also how language is used in its various literary, social and cultural contexts. You will be taught the processes of language through grammar and syntax, and you will also have the opportunity to study modules in stylistics. We offer a mix of traditional and innovative subject choices, and we consider new ways of thinking about English language and literature. One of the advantages of the English Language Studies program is that our graduates are able to demonstrate knowledge of both English literature and linguistics. This makes their CVs more competitive in the job market and allows them to pursue a career in a wide range of industries. Our graduates can go into a wide range of occupations such as teaching, publishing, advertising, theater, journalism, arts administration, tourism, public relations, and public service. English language studies modules are designed to enhance an active and independent approach to learning. They aim to help students develop critical faculties, consolidate and further develop written and oral communication skills, obtain cooperative skills during classroom discussions and the ability to engage in critical debate while showing respect for others. The English Language Studies program gives students the opportunity to conduct a dissertation research project on a topic they choose. This allows them to gain research and analysis abilities, develop problem-solving skills, and the ability to manage time and work to deadlines. All these are valuable skills in the workplace. More information about the English Language Studies modules can be found on the program's webpage. The course team aims to provide students with an excellent learning experience. Students' feedback has always been very positive. According to the module evaluation questionnaires, the best feature of the course is tutor support. You may find out more about the course team and their expertise on the course's webpage. The English Language Studies program organizes many events every year and the course team are involved in many research activities. This enriches our students' learning experience. You may find a list of the events and seminars the English Language Program organized this year on the program's webpage. We believe that our students and alumni are the best to talk about the English Language Studies program. Please visit the program's webpage and listen to them talking about their experience as you can Cyprus students. If you have any questions or require further information, do not hesitate to contact me at acanically at uclan.ac.uk. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Olga Kvasova and I'm the course leader of BA in Advertising and Marketing Communications. I would like to take this opportunity to get you familiar with my course. 
It is a pioneering course which offers students the knowledge and skills to build a career in a very dynamic and creative sector. It focuses on developing expertise required to anticipate, plan and control effective marketing communications. This degree was designed to deliver students who would be both purpose-made and job-ready. Employability is at the heart of our course. It is embedded in BA in Advertising and Marketing Communications. Who could you be once you've graduated from this course? You can pursue careers in media and communication firms, but you can also work in mainstream organizations as advertising or marketing managers, public relations specialists, media relations or communications officers. So there are many opportunities for you. What is the structure of the course? It lasts four years. However, if you are an advanced entry student, it could be three years. During the first years, year one and year two, the students study general business subjects. Uh, they get familiar with general business functions such as operations, human resource management, economics, uh, and of course, marketing. Year three and year four modules are more marketing specific. You will study marketing research, integrated marketing communications, contemporary consumers, strategic marketing, public relations, media campaigns, and so on and so forth. Four years overall. Who are our teachers? I'm very proud to tell you that all our tutors have relevant and fundamental qualifications for teaching particular modules of the course. And some of the modules are quite demanding in terms uh, of tutorship. Also, almost all of our tutors are PhD holders and they are research active. They work together with the UK faculty to develop, deliver and refine modules and programs overall. How do we study? What do we actually do? We use a variety of teaching and learning methods, including lectures, seminars, practical workshops, group activities, personal research and case studies. Personal study and independent research also form an integral part of the course. Options for the students to develop skills in a variety of very interesting areas and trendy areas such as IT, web-based tools and tactics, social media, advanced Excel and specialist Microsoft packages. How do we assess our students? Usually based on individual and group essays and reports, debates and presentations. Normally there are two assignments per module. It could be one, it could be three, but normally it's two components uh, in assessment. We do have few exams, but these are very rare. Thus, if you are not keen on taking exams, BA in advertising is your course. Overall, there are many opportunities and challenges offered to you in this degree. And I hope that if you join BA in Advertising and Marketing Communications, you will respond to these challenges with enthusiasm and you will find your experience at UCLAN to be a valuable and rewarding one. Irrespective of the program that you choose at UCLAN, all of us will be happy to see you as our students 
and we are here at your disposal to help you with everything. If you have any additional questions, you can always contact me, uh, the course leader of BA in Advertising and Marketing Communications, our marketing team and admissions. I wish you all the best and I will be very happy to see you on my program. Goodbye. Hello everyone, my name is Maria Resti and I am the Senior Student Recruitment Officer at UCLan Cyprus. I will just share my presentation in which uh, we will be going through the application procedure and any other general information regarding the admissions process uh, to UCLan Cyprus. Okay, how to apply? It's a very uh, straightforward and simple procedure. Uh, and of course, our university advisors will be, guide, will be guiding you throughout the procedure. And uh, you will be taken step by step in order to finalize the whole procedure and become one of our students. You will first of all need to complete uh, the application form, which can be found on our website, either as a PDF format file or um, simply complete the online application form that we have. In any case, you can always email us on the general admissions email, which can be found um, at the bottom of the slide, and you can make a note of it. So um, you can email us and we will email you back the PDF uh, application form. Now, for the undergraduate applicants, we will need to have the school living certificate and the mark sheet as well as the English Language Qualification Certificate, which can be anything um, such as IELTS or IGCSE or TOEFL or any other equivalent. If you're not sure whether we can accept your uh, certificate, you can always email it to us. We will evaluate it and we will get back to you uh, with the decision of the admissions department whether this document can be accepted or not. In any case, if the qualifications that uh, you're currently holding cannot be accepted by the admissions department, you can always take our own uh, English language test, which is also internationally recognized. And uh, we arrange accordingly and uh, as per your availability in order to take the test online even. Uh, along with the previously mentioned documents, we will also need to have your ID card or your passport copy. Now, for the postgraduate applicants, we need uh, what we have previously said about the undergraduate applicants, plus a few more documents, such as the bachelor degree, as well as the transcripts, uh, your personal statement, uh, your CV, and two reference letters sent to us directly by your referees. The application uh, will cost 50 euro, that is the application fee, and it's non-refundable. The payment methods uh, will be discussed with you, uh, with the advisors of the university, and they will be guiding you, as I said, step by step in order to uh, successfully make your payment and uh, being able to apply and evaluate your application. All of the documents will need to be emailed to your university advisor or to the general admissions email at admissions at uclancypress.ac.cy. Now, about the entry requirements. For the undergraduate programs, we will require from the applicant to have a high school living certificate, such as uh, the Apolitirion, if we're talking for local students in Cyprus or in Greece. And for international students, we can accept the A-levels, uh, the IB or any other equivalent. We know that in each country there is a different certificate, uh, the equivalencies all over the world are different. So if you have questions and you're not sure whether we can accept uh, your qualification or not, as I said, you can just email us and we will get back to you with, uh, with the evaluation. 
Um, we will also need the English language qualification, the IGCSEs or the IELTS, and also depending on the course that you will be choosing to study, um, there is an entry requirement, a specific entry requirement uh, and a specific mark that we require in order to be admitted. For the postgraduate programs, we will need uh, the applicant to have a bachelor degree or equivalent. Uh, it will have to be, uh, if we're talking about UK bachelors, it will need to be a UK lower second class bachelor degree. And uh, for any other country where uh, the marking system is different, we will make uh, the equivalency and we will inform you accordingly. Because in some countries, you know, there is a GPA or um, it's, uh, the, the mark is counted differently. And for all of the master programs, we will need to have an IELTS equivalent to 6.5. If you do not have IELTS, you can provide any other equivalent uh, uh, certificates or still take our own English test that we are providing at the university. And of course, we need to mention here that the language of instruction of all the programs and the assessment is in English. Now, for all of our international students, the non-EU students, um, we will need to uh, apply for a student visa. So, all non-EU students are required to apply for a student visa in order to study uh, at UCLan Cyprus. Again, uh, we have a few steps so it's easier and uh, better for you to understand and to see that the procedure is not uh, complicated. Um, we will just simply take it step by step and I will explain it to you uh, right now as a summary though. Uh, I will not get into um, much details because anyway your university advisor will be guiding you uh, throughout the whole procedure. Step number one is to complete the application form that we were previously talking about which is um, application form in order to be admitted at the university and of course to pay the application fee. Now, as long as this application, um, as soon as this application fee will be paid and we will evaluate your documents, you will receive your offer letter. Then you will need to start collecting the documents for your student visa application. As soon as you collect all of the documents, if you have any questions and if you're not sure, you can always email them to your university advisor. We will check the documents and we will get back to you. Now, if you're sure that you have collected the correct documents, you can proceed with attesting them. Um, the attestations, though, vary from country to country. And therefore, depending on each document which is listed um, uh, on the list that you will be getting from your advisor, uh, there is a different attestation. So every country has a different attestation. Your university advisor will be giving you the list and will be giving you the places where you will need to be going to have your documents stamped and attested. Step number five is to email all of these documents to your university advisor with the stamps, with the attestations, in order for your advisor to check them and to make sure that everything is correct. We will never... Um, uh, leave you alone just to send any documents uh, which may be wrong and submit them to the migration with the risk of being uh, declined uh, and not get your, uh, your entry permit. So we make sure uh, as a university and as a department that all of the documents that you provide are correct and they will be accepted by the, uh, by the authorities, by the migration authorities. So once we confirm that the documents are correct, you can then move on to step six, which is the easy part here. And it means that you will need to send all of the documents that you have collected, originals and copies, um, depending on the country and depending on the, on the documents, will be uh, mailed to us, maybe by courier, to, um, to have them here in hard copies. Now, um, as a general guideline, um, you need to remember that all the applications uh, for the visa and all documents are evaluated by the Migration Department and the Ministry of Education. So as soon as uh, we have a decision and as soon as the decision is communicated directly to us and your university advisor is aware of the decision, we will inform you accordingly. 
About the scholarships, we do offer scholarships. We have the academic merit scholarships, uh, we have athletic scholarships, and we have some other various uh, bursary and discounts. For the undergraduate scholarships, we are offering 40% and 50% on the original tuition fees always. And that depends on the mark that you have on your high school living certificate. So depending on your country, depending on your qualification, uh, you may be entitled to a 40 or a 50% scholarship. For our postgraduate students, um, they are entitled on, uh, on getting a 30% scholarship, up to 30% actually, and that is uh, upon a successful uh, course leader interview. This means that if a postgraduate student would also like to apply for a scholarship, we will need to arrange an interview with the course leader or even the head of school and uh, um, the, the, the course leader, the academic staff, will decide uh, the percentage that the student is entitled to. The athletic scholarships fall under some specific scholarship schemes. That is why we also have the Athletic Scholarship Committee, which uh, will evaluate your case, will evaluate your documents and any proof that uh, you're indeed an athlete and we will decide, this, the, the committee will decide and they will inform uh, our department whether you're entitled to any specific percentage or any specific discount as an athlete. Other bursaries and discounts that we are offering, which is uh, mostly for the local students, um, we are giving uh, some municipalities and communities bursaries some bursaries and discounts and special prizes to some companies and organizations that we have collaborations with. Uh, there is a large family bursaries. Uh, also, uh, we do have a discount for siblings and for our alumni, of course. And if you're not falling into, um, if you're not under any of these categories that have been previously mentioned, you can always inform us that you need to apply for a scholarship and that you need a scholarship and uh, you may be granted a special bursary. You will simply need to complete a scholarship application form. You can ask for this form, um, your uh, university advisor, the form will be provided to you. You can complete it and the committee will have a look and decide on the amount uh, you will be entitled to. Now, this is the recruitment and the admissions department. Um, as you see here, uh, we're four people in the department. It's myself, it's uh, Mrs. Androniki Elena and Mrs. Andonia Ioannou, who are the student recruitment officers. And uh, these are the advisors that will be guiding you throughout the procedure, including myself. And we have our admissions officer, Ms. Katerina Petru, who is the officer who will be evaluating and issuing your offer letters. And in any case, you can either contact me via email or via phone or WhatsApp or Viber. Uh, it's also available. Or, or through our uh, general um, um, emails and phone numbers, which you can see on the right side of the slide. We have the admissions at uclancypress.ac.cy. We have the phone number of the university and, of course, our website. You can also find us on, uh, on different social media. It's uh, worth to check them. And if you would like to be more informed and if you would like to have a personalized session with one of our advisors, or with one of our course leaders, um, you have the chance to do so by booking your online information session. Uh, we're available every day, Monday to Friday, from 9.30 until 4.30. So you can simply uh, book your session at your most convenient time, and one of our advisors will guide you on how to join the meeting. Through these uh, online information sessions, you will be able to find out how to apply at the British University of Cyprus. You will uh, discuss your career options and our programs of study with uh, the advisor or with the course leader. You will get into more details about the entry requirements. You will have a virtual tour of the campus and the award-winning facilities. Um, and as I said, you can also book the online session with the academic faculty. 
I would like to thank you for, um, for attending this webinar and uh, we do look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.